Well, hello Twin Flames, welcome to this special edition. Uh, I just recorded the extended video because I have a lot to tell, uh, a lot of things happened in the Twin Flame journey on a personal level that I want to talk about. And one of the things that I could not really put out on YouTube is that I am going to be singing a song coming from the masculine energy, which is very deep and heartfelt. Uh, I just want to say that there are a lot of signs, synchronicities, as well as events that are going to be happening. There's definitely a game changer here. I believe strongly that Saturn entering into Pisces is going to have a huge impact in a positive sense for a lot of twin flames. And in the extended video, which is over an hour, I will tell you all about it in details and also put my personal uh, spicy story in it. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to share that on the YouTube, but there are so many lessons that we can learn from it. So that's why I am opening myself up. And I feel very strongly that this obviously Pisces is all about healing. It's all about the past baggage, karmic cycles, karmic energy, clearing that up, uh, getting a connection, higher connection to the spirits as well as spiritual connections is the most spiritual sign. And Saturn being the god of karma coming into the sign of Pisces is obviously going to teach a lot about discipline, um, strong faith, strong beliefs. Uh, it's all about you know, having some type of order and really thinking about the consequences. If you do not do your healing, you do not do your cleansing, you don't really do any effort to remove the past baggages from your energy, from your life or from the connection, it can result into a heavy, heavy process. So I feel like this is going to be a perfect time to dive into any disciplined work when it comes to spirituality, because that's what the two, uh, and I'm having a weird tinseling on my, uh, on my leg here. But I do believe that there is going to be a strong, strong meaning for twin flames and for spiritual connections as Saturn is going to move into Pisces. I myself have uh, Saturn in my Pisces, so I know all about it. Uh, I, this, that, that was like my whole life purpose. So even before this conjunction played out, I already f knew what my life purpose was uh, having that in my chart because it was all about getting disciplined when it comes to my spirituality, getting things in order, uh, learning it the hard way, experience, experiment, and yeah, making, m making, good work out of your spiritual connection or out of your spiritual healing so yeah let's um let's dive in and let's see what the messages are but definitely i can sense a huge spiritual shift that is going on for absolutely twin flames So watch out for the signs, any synchronicities, any events that are going to take place because it will be leading you towards a higher understanding, a higher purpose as well. All right, so we have here the Justice, the Star and the Six of Cups, all three in the reverse coming through. The bottom of the deck is the High Priestess and the death card okay we got all the good cards here and we've got the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck which you don't see coming so something has gone a little bit wrong here there is definitely injustice some things did not pan out the way that both of you expected there is an imbalance because of an injustice that has taken place and that's the reason why both of you have not been together yet or there is some type of healing that is required um, where one or both of you need to make the right decision and take on the karmic consequences to rectify what has went wrong here in the past. The Six of Cups is in a reverse saying that something is still unfinished, something is still um, unbalanced from the past that needs to be sorted out, sorted out and spiritually balanced. The star is all about spirituality as well. It's about uh, searching for the um, for your purpose. It's all about your life path 
uh, synchronicities, signs, connection to the spirits and becoming more vulnerable in order to shine that light on that wound in order to heal. So for both people here with the Six of Cups, something has gone a little bit wrong here with the justice in the, in the, in the past. And let's see what that is going to be talking about. We do have the High Priestess here. So like I said, I am receiving all the messages and then it will come to you as well on your personal level. But the Higher Priestess is talking about intuitive sights, in, uh, insights, um, intuitive messages coming in, spirit messages coming in, signs, synchronicities, and you really needing to use your intuition rather than your logic in the situation because things are about to change. So you have to dive deep within, listen to yourself, listen to your soul, higher self, as well as perhaps dive into your Akashic records, see what has gone wrong in the past, do some type of reflection of what is what has happened here for you in the past with your twin flame in order to come to some type of realization and with that realization you can take some type of action the death card that is this is all happening because this is like the something in this relationship has ended um perhaps the karmic energy is also coming to an end there is a huge transformation going on and all you need to do is spiritually transmute this transformation in order to have like this rebirth as we do have with the death card death and rebirth death of ego is also a big part of this uh, spiritual connection, death of ego and death and rebirth, okay? Then we have the queen of pentacles. So something when it comes to earthy energy is what you need to take action on. This is being called for the um, uh, feminine energy because it represents the queen of pentacles and the queens are all about receptivity, uh, taking some type of action when it comes to grounding yourself, um, you know, taking care of something because she's usually the caretaker, um, connecting, working with Mother Earth. So there's definitely a lot of things that you are going to be guided to do so. Let's see what else, what is coming in for the Twin Flames. Oh, Seven of Swords. Mm, interesting. We have the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Wands reversed, and the Hangman. Now, the Hangman is Pisces energy. So someone here has done something that they shouldn't have done. And it's this was something karmically that happened. And this person has been trying to move forward without really taking note of this. And all of a sudden, with this Ten of Wands in the reverse, they decide to kind of like accept their mistake and to do some, some type of change in this, to release this burden, to release this, um, like if there was a lie, if there was some type of cheating or something that has been wrong, done wrong, they are ready to take responsibility and to change the situation around. This is the hangman. This is saying like they've made the sacrifice and now they're changing their ways. They're having a new perspective over their first behavior or their action. And they're now starting to change their perspective, perception and change their actions. There is some type of silence here. There is some type of break in the connection. And this is all needed for the person that did something wrong to admit and confess that they've done something wrong here with this justice on top of it. Page of Swords, which is a very good sign actually. Fool. And the Three of Cups came a little bit sideways, but seeing the three positive cards, the Page of Swords is realizing something, researching, finding some truths out, doing your own research when it comes to uh, something that happened here in the past that was done wrongly. Uh, the Fool to the Three of Cups is saying that there is going to be a new cycle that is going to be opening up where both of you need to kind of like jump into this 
new situation. There is a new situation that is coming in that is orchestrated spiritually and both of you are going to feel ready to take that leap, to take that leap of faith. And perhaps there is even like a, a reconciliation, but it's still a little bit far out because it came a little bit sideways. So it means that, um, you know, one person is willing to do it, but the second one, the other person may be still a little bit confused or may still be doubting whether they want to participate or to uh, see each other eye to eye. So that's what I'm seeing here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What else for... Angel of communication, communicate clearly and don't be afraid to tell it like it is. So someone here is a little bit afraid to communicate their own wrongdoings, their own um, something that they've done falsely. And they are going to be kind of like motivated by spirit to communicate clearly and don't be afraid with this fool and just take that leap of faith to express whatever it is that they need to express. And we also have you are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. This might be either you or the masculine. You're, you're being kind of like asked to not um, go into it with a lot of fire. Just, you know, try to be calm in the situation. Don't go into the argument. Don't try to um, allow this situation to escalate even more. That is being asked from... Um, from the other person because obviously there is some type of cheating or cheatery <laughs> type of energy that is going on here that someone needs to confess about. So if this confession comes towards you, you are being asked to take things calm um, because you may obviously not like that someone has done something behind your back and I feel like your reaction could be quite, you know, like what? Did you do that behind my back? So you get to be a little bit relaxed about this because, you know, there's no point in trying to make a bigger argument if someone is trying to tell you that they are sorry. And then we have Angel of Soul Love. Time to look at how you value yourself. Issues of self-love. So this might be for the person that is being betrayed. They may have had a lot of issues when it comes to self-love, self-care, self-value. Maybe this is also talking about the feminine. I feel like maybe you have, um, you know, you, you miss some type of deep soul love in your life or you miss the real twin flame energy um, and that results into you feeling, you know, not appreciated, not loved and not respected and this is something that you need to heal within because the masculine does have a lot of love for you however they do cope with something that they have done in the past that they feel a little bit nervous about or they they um they're shying away because of something that they did so be mindful of that look at this divine sensuality making love and erotica so this might be the next step if this thing from the past this karmic energy from the past is being resolved you can expect some type of kundalini rising kundalini experience um, definitely physical um, erotica is definitely being highlighted within the twin flame connection here so maybe getting into your own divine sensual feminine energy as well could be also very you know pointed out here especially if you felt unloved or unattractive or just not taking great care of yourself perhaps starting with the feminine body is going to be very yeah Okay, it, it really wanted to come through, so let's go for it. We have the home card I wanted to come through twice. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the Acopans. So for many of you, there is a change within the home life that keeps on coming up. So I believe that if it has not happened yet, it's still about to happen. It can come any certain time because this card keeps on popping up for many of you. 
Sensitivity, you are becoming increasingly sensitive, avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Now, this is the reason why you have to really watch the extended reading because a lot of things are going to happen. Synchronicity, signs, messages, dream messages, connections, a lot of things are going to be uh, shown to you and you're going to go through an awakening because of that you do need some privacy you need to have some type of time on your own to really receive these messages to do the research that your spirit guides are going to be giving you or teaching you and around this time as well if you don't feel like interacting with many people or you feel drained or down or um, in any type of way a little bit sensitive it's because you need to be a little bit surrounded with peaceful energies because you're going to go through the spiritual awakening and this is what is going to happen because a, um, a Saturn is moving into Pisces so because of that just prepare yourself it is for the positive and I'm going to be telling you way more about it in the extended reading but you will definitely feel an understand the shift that is about to happen if you are in the twin flame journey and it is going to be very specific the things that are going to happen in your life that are connected to your twin flame are going to be standing out uh, so yeah let's see what the charms have to say about this any messages for the twin flames yeah peace coming through we got the dove flying in birds are going to be uh, sending you signals one of my messages are about birds and swans so please make sure to watch in order to see if you are also dealing with the same type of twin flame journey we've got um, Tinkerbell I feel coming through we have the umbrella, which also came through in the uh, extended, which is talking about this connection being protected by the spirits, the spiritual realm with that um, think about coming through. So there's definitely a higher spiritual protection here to bring both of you peace. We have, oh, this is a very, okay. We've got the anchor coming through together with like, I don't know how to, the, the, the wheel of the ship coming through. So this is a long journey and the journey is about to move its direction. Like I said here with this hangman, there is a change in the course of direction here that is going to be impacting you both for a long, long hold. Uh, this is all about longevity. So this is a new journey that is starting that is going to be a new direction, but it's going to be a longevity. So it's going to be a positive shift and a turn for the long hold. Then we have a, I think it's a clove um, to bring good luck. So there is a lot of good luck around you and around this connection that is going to be speeding things up. What is this? We got two feet. So someone is about to take some steps moving forward, take some type of action here. We got a half heart coming through. And this half heart could be talking about... Um, you know feeling half lost or not connecting truly truthfully with the other twin flame and this is being felt by both of you and i feel like this is a, yeah this is like a what's it called ice cream <laughs> so a lot of fun times are waiting for the both of you as well after some harmony has been created in this connection guys okay i believe that's what i have for you all i hope that this message resonated and make sure to check out the extended reading i will also give a performance there that i could not upload here on youtube um, because yeah it, it's a it's a special song and i don't want you to, to take it off so if you are interested in that make sure to watch that and let me know how you feel about it uh, it was a very special, special reading. So thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you guys soon. Ciao.